Well, 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 Arjun, we meet again. Did you know that I like dragons and I think dragons are cool? You probably don't even know who I am, so that's probably a stupid question. Dragonstorm, that's what I'm talking about. So what is Dragonstorm? Basically, Michael Bay decided, hey, dragons are cool, so let's go ahead and put it for like two minutes. You see him at the beginning for a backstory, but it's funny how little this had to do with the actual movie. Everything around him in that origin story actually involves the movie. This guy just was there. Moral of the story, who cares? So this dragon storm is like a backwards duocon with three lizard heads. I gotta say that I like the shaping even though the initial design is like a bunch of beams and it's definitely not made of 13 bots. Hell, I don't even think in the movie it's made from 13 bots. Three of them were killed. There's something very demonic about this, especially with the three heads with the fiery look of the back and the fact that the eyes are unpainted, the sharp teeth, it's Ugh. I wouldn't want to deal with that in my backyard. The front legs are kind of small compared to the back, but he leans forward in this very aggressive nature. The silver is also fantastic over the body. It's not a wash, it's more like a sheen over it. It's placed on specific raised details, and I think it comes out wonderfully. The only thing I don't like about the dragon form is the fact that the colors really clash here. You've got black, and then you have this kind of dull gray, you have silver, you got some blue here. Also, the weapon storage is kind of lame, but... I solved the world's problem. It's just two of them and I'm fine with that. I don't need 13 figures to make this. And I don't think my shelves really need 13 of the same guy. I do like how one opens up to reveal the second. It's kind of like cracking open an egg. And if you want to leave them separate, you could have a two-headed dragon and some sort of Loch Ness monster. I do want to make a note that if you're transforming it, just take it easy. It's not really the most complicated thing. It's just not something you really want to rush or hurry or stress. Also, be very careful with the heads. I heard that they could crack. I'm just saying so that you don't go, ah, what has happened to my hands? I forgot their names. So Jeff here is a much thinner bot and it seems like it would be the cleaner one, but then you turn around and oh, the kibble is, Kind of weird. He's got a dragon head on one arm and then a tail on the other leg. Baby got back. But I will admit the aesthetic is nice. I especially love the head sculpt. Let's get a clear view of that. Something that's not blurry. There you go. Really my only big issue is the wobbling arms. Uh... Then you've got Joe over here who has a giant cape of wings which is both kibbly and also freaking awesome. His heels are toes of dragons. That's also kind of awesome. Really, this guy's just living his best life. The head sculpt is very unique. I love the red eyes. And he's uh, well fed, apparently. The reason why he's like this is because if you open them up, this will house the other figure. Oh my god. I think that's Vor. But essentially, they're two action figures that do pretty well. Wonder Twin Powers, activate! So yeah, that's the Leader Class Dragon Storm. Moral of the story is, it doesn't matter whether it makes sense or it's part of the story. If it looks cool, they'll just put it in anyways. So that has been me. Where'd my hat go?